Hey guys, today's the Morty Short Box. I'm coming to you from down in Las Vegas at the ranch, uh, working with Torpedo Comics to upload some raw books today, and just wanted to give you a peek into the process. So first things first, obviously take the book out of the bag. Those reflections can be a pain, so may as well make it easy on yourself. I like to use the board as a nice little backing for the issue so that I have a clean edge that you can see all of the details on the book. All right, flip it over, get a picture of the back. These more modern books, I don't really feel the need to take six you know, additional photos other than the front and back, unless the book's got uh, real obvious damage or if it's real expensive or if it's older. Uh, we picked this particular book because it is a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. We we're pretty sure this variant would not be in the system, and I wanted to give you guys some input and some tips on what to do in that, in that situation. Okay. And voila, <clears throat> no San Diego exclusive. So I just add San Diego exclusive in the title up there and go to search again, knowing I'll see nothing there. But now I can tap the report missing issue button, and now the team knows that we can add this at some point in the future. So we'll just set that one aside for now and move on to the next book. All right, Big Apple Comics, issue number one, cool old indie book. So let's get cracking. Same idea, frame that nicely, take your picture, do another one at the back. On this one, I am going to take some additional photos just so that people can see the damages that are obvious or maybe not so obvious in, in the, the larger photos. Get a couple of pictures of corners here. For older books, I always pop it open and take a peek at the staples and make sure that the cover is still attached. You would take a little cruise through the book as well. See there, we've got a color breaking tick on the bottom. So, all right, let's take a peek inside here. Also, you know, look for anything that's like obviously cut out or looks off. Staples are pretty good on this one. The back is looking nice and tight. All right, so let's get a little shot of the inner spine on the cover. Let's see, see those staples holding strong. So since this is Torpedo's books, you know, they already have a grade on them, which makes the pie process really easy. Uh, don't worry, we do have some educational content coming soon to help you figure out, you know, the best ways to eyeball grade your raw books. But these guys are pros, so I didn't need to do that bit of work. So I was using one of the new grade ranges that we've added to the app. Uh, and they had a price on it of 30 bucks with no additional or no past sales. It's pretty much your choice on what you want to charge for some of these. And that's it. So, all right, we'll move on to the final example. Something we can all appreciate a little. Here's nice cap 131. That's such a cool cover. I love that old cap logo. All right, let's take a photo. Look at this, you guys are pros at this point, right? So same thing here, front, back, snap a couple shots of the inside. Make sure nothing's cut out. Oh yeah. Thing on the corner there. This is a pretty clean copy though. Not really a lot to require additional photos. So take a look through here. Nothing's cut out. Or some Marvel DC stuff. Just get that center fold uh, area. Just get the staples look nice and clean. Hang it on tight. So as you can see, uploading raw books is uh, very straightforward. About as simple as the graded books. With the graded books, whereas the uh, reflection and glare is kind of a problem. With raw books, it's a little easier to use that to your advantage, to get a good angle and show off all the details of your beautiful books. And that's it, guys. Thanks for joining. We'll see you next time.